Hello everyone, Alex is online again with the early announced second webinar from webinar series devoted to different aspects of game localization, development, testing and translation. I'm Vilena and here with me our developer in the past quality automation quality assurance engineer Pavel Vidilin. Today we would like to talk about uh, let's say modern approaches in games testing. Uh, we will try to emit boring theory about testing types and just focus on practice. Uh, Pavel will try to demonstrate us the benefits and usability of parallel games testing. Um, before we start, I would like to remind you some regulations. Um, if any questions will appear, could you please just chat them to the GoToWebinar chat tool. We will try to answer all of them at the end of our presentation. One important note today, as we are going to show the streaming video, we will need to switch from go to webinar tool to the link with the video. This link you can find in the chat now, go to webinar chat tool, and also it will be mentioned at the slide of our presentation. The moment to switch from the tool we will announce additionally. Okay, now we can start. Pavel, I'm giving the scene to you. Thank you. Thank you, Vilena. Well, today we are going to talk um, about some aspects of parallel testing of games. But first, I'd like to ask you a question. How do you imagine the process of testing games in parallel? Well, usually we need a lot of hardware, a bunch of testers and a few test cases to test and we are good to go. And uh, all these testers do the same stuff on each computer, right? Well, let me introduce you to our vision. Our approach states that only one tester can perform the same test on different environments simultaneously. This will help us greatly reduce the amount of man hours. Well, let's say there are several different environments. Um, yeah. To test them in parallel, we will use our sync test tool. SyncTest is our internal tool, developed of development of which was based on the experience gained after many years of software localization and QA. In addition, it's worth mentioning that these resu test results include videos and screenshots, so that they can be used for linguistic review or other types of analysis. We will also be able to view real-time performance information of tested gaming systems in one place. Well, enough of words, let's finally have a look at it. To do so, let us now switch to our streaming channel. You can copy and paste the link from the chat tool or from our webinar reminder email. Yeah. Uh, so prob please do it now. Yeah, probably you will see their advertising now. Um, but this is the policy of the streaming channel and we couldn't switch it off. A couple of seconds of patience, please. If any troubles with the streaming video, please let us know we are go to webinar chat. We'll try to solve it. Let's let's wait a little. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Yeah, and I No, I it looks like everything is okay. So if everything is okay, we can proceed. Yeah. All right, thanks. Uh, I hope you can see my desktop now, all right. And uh, on the left hand side of the screen here, you can see the main application window. This window shows the master computer desktop and it's green. Yeah, here you can see. Also, also you can see the performance monitor of both client computers connected. It's here. And uh, at the top half of the right side, we can see the slave client and its desktop is blue. You can see it here. In our case, the client is just one, but uh, there is no particular limit. And at the same and and at the same side at the bottom, you can see the monitors of these two computers with a webcam. Those two clients have a slightly different configuration. Um, yeah. Uh, this one has a second generation Core i5 processor working on 3.3 GHz with Intel HD 3000 graphics, 4 GB of memory operated by 32-bit Windows 7. 
and the other one has first generation Core i5 processor working on 3.2 GHz with Radeon HD 4670 graphics with 8 GB of memory operated by 64 bit Windows 7. Yeah. As you can see, we have one PC with a bit faster CPU and slower GPU, and another one is in with inverted specs. This hardware setup, in addition to different RAM size, should impact our resources monitor information when we get into action. This is a good example to show how we can test performance and compatibility. When we have all the hardware up and running, we set, our, we set one of the machines as master. This one is master, as I already mentioned, and the other one as a slave. And yeah, and this one is a slave. This means that from our host machine, computer signals will reach the master PC first, and after that, all the slaves will replicate our actions. So let's try it now. Yeah. If you were attending our first webinar, and you will be familiar with our XNA racing game. And for those who wasn't, well, actually this is the racing game. <laughs> we localized it in Russian uh, at our first webinar series, if you can remember that. Okay, let's start the race. It doesn't matter, and uh, yeah. Yeah, good. good. Um, the game runs pretty well on both computers, regardless of the OS architecture and GPU differences. However, we can clearly see the differences in memory and CPU usage here. Um, while it's operating, yeah, they are displayed here, as I already mentioned. The second aspect of this test is that the games look the same on both GPUs, while many things can go wrong here. For example, we can catch a well-known issue with shader instructions. Here we are also testing the compatibility, as we are using different hardware configurations and different versions of operating systems. Well, let's quit it now. Right. Uh, let's proceed with another demo. In this demo, we will scratch the surface uh, of games localization testing. The vivid example of this kind of testing would be a game with lots of text. For this particular case, we choose a turn-based RPG called Disciplice 2. And uh, we are in the main menu now. Please note that here we have not only different hardware configurations, but also different localizations of the game. This one, Master, is English. And the slave is Russian. Right. Let's say I would like to change some options. Whoa, there are a few. For now, I will assume that they are fu functioning as expected, and I'm just not quite sure if those translations are fully correct. I will make a screenshot now. Yeah. And I'm going to clarify this question with the linguists later. So, let's quit it. And uh, we'll try to play the tutorial now. Yeah, now we're here and uh, let's check if everything is good with the screen, and l at least visually for now. So, we can select a number of Lord portraits. Uh, yep, it's working. Um, we can select any difficulty level, and we can select any Lord type. Yes, at least it shows us that it is so good. Now let's delete our Lord's name and see what will happen. Yeah, that went as expected. I would like uh, to have the screenshot of this warning too. So I will make it now. Yeah. Right. And now I will enter the name and let's play it. Yes, that's good. 
I would like to start video recording now, so that if something goes wrong in any version of the game, I will have the exact steps to reproduce the issue. Yeah, and now I am recording. That's good. Yeah, we're in the game, and I will skip those dialogues for now. But normally I'd make the screenshots of them for further analysis. Now I want to start some fight. To do so, I will enter the city and move my troops to the hero party. Yep. In some cases, units can have a different order. For example, like this. Here, this unit is here, and here, this unit is there. Right. But we still want them to be moved correctly. In this case, we want to use the image mode function of sync test. I will switch it on now. This function tries to find and click the same bitmap region which was clicked on the master machine. And, uh, yes, it's working fine. So now I will move my units. Nope. Come on. Yeah. Now let's step out of the city and explore the map for some enemies. I will switch it back and went out. And these dialogues I will going to skip too. Right. Come on. Yeah, and these too. I'm not interested in dialects now. <laughs> right, so I will attack this tower, I think. That looks good to me. <laughs> oh, more dialects. Yeah, skipping. Yeah. Well, we're in the combat now, and uh, it's not going to be so smooth. We're not talking about some uh, random things that frequently happen in games. This could be related to different decisions made by AI, uh, artificial intelligence, hit-miss ratios in combat, character unit initiatives and behaviors. And so on. Well, pretty much everything that is based on randomly generated values. So in this case, the test should not be performed in parallel. We will get nothing but getting different instances out of sync. But the good thing is that we can get from this the actual combat UI and the heads up display response. Right, so I will. Yeah, as you can see, we're slightly out of sync. So, right, and now I'm going to close the game and proceed to another demo. Um, while it stays very handy, it is impossible to cover everything with parallel testing. Uh, um, yeah, and as you remember, we are still recording the video, so it is a good time to stop, stop it, and take a look at what we have got. So, yeah, here are our screenshots. And as you can see, we have both English and Russian. And this there looks fine. And I was expecting them to be so. All right. And now, oh yeah, I have forgot to stop the video. I will stop it now. And uh, yep, here are our videos. And, uh, yeah, nope, all right, that seems to be okay. <laughs> yeah, and that is Russian. All right, let's move on. Let's, well, let's proceed. Um, yeah. For this purpose, I will need to change clients connected to sync test, and I will do so now. Mm -hmm. 
we will remove this and connect those two. Yeah. Right. That will be our master. And that is going to be our slave. Right. In this demo, we will play cut the rope. So uh, right now, as I suppose, you can see the game, but you can't see the devices on which it runs. And, uh, actually, those games are being run on the two Windows RT devices, and uh, my colleague will now adjust the camera so that you can see them better. Yeah, right. So hopefully, you can see the games now. And uh, let's start playing. Yeah. First level. Right. So now you can see those games are being played. Um, the actions are replicated on both of the devices. This way we can test them the same way as it was shown in the previous demo. Please note that this functionality is still being optimized, so we might see some glitches here and there. Um, this game is pretty simple and it doesn't have much randomization in it, so it is suitable for testing in parallel. And, uh, yeah, thanks. And uh, I guess that's all for today. So I'm giving the word to Vilena. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day. Goodbye. Thank you, Pavel. So, what was so special about this last demo? Well, the special thing is that we control the game without touching the actual devices. We can test it in this way, mobile devices too. So, let's summarize the benefits and weak points of this approach. The first one is that testing in parallel will definitely save the costs and resources. Testers do not need to have scripting skills in contrast to automated testing. This approach allows us to test efficiently the games that are still under development and it means that there won't be needed to update any scripts. And also we can significantly help linguists by providing them with the game screens for linguistic check. The weak point is that the approach is useless when testing the randomized game actions. In our demonstration today, we try to show only some aspects of parallel testing. Of course, at the time being, we cannot substitute all manual testing with automated and parallel approaches, but what we definitely can do is look for new creative optimization solutions. Uh, we will proceed with our webinar series and would be glad to hear your ideas for further topics to, to cover. Please keep following our news at Alex's site, www.alex.com. Do we have any questions? Just a reminder in GoToWebinar chat tool. Do we have some? I guess not. <laughs> Maybe they will appear later. Thank you for your attention and for attending our webinar. I hope it has been useful for you again, and the next webinar will touch linguistic aspects in games localization. The day will be announced later. I hope to see you all further on at our next sessions. Thank you. Bye.